Hi, this is Jana London, founder of the Natural Women's Council. I just want to have a quick discussion about the book that has been all over the news, all over Twitter, all over Facebook, all over every WhatsApp group that I'm involved in uh, and Telegram, the book that is in the SPHE book, the anti-Irish, the anti-family, anti-tradition uh, chapter that was in the book. So I'm going to share that screen and have a quick chat, and then I'm going to give you my honest views and my concerns and what we hope that everyone will do from here. Here's the so book that is the hottest topic of the week for the parents out there. And it's really, really good. The positives, let's focus on the positives. I like to have some optimism. The positives are the parents that may have trusted blindly of what was in their children's school books may be waking up from their slumber and actually taking the time to question what's in the book. And maybe they will not trust blindly with all the other issues that we've been raising. So uh, this is the book in question, the Health and Wellbeing SPHE One book published by Edco and written by Ann Potts and Nolig O'Grady. So uh, I'll share some uh, other names that were involved in this book from a little digging I did, because it's always nice to put a name behind the work that's produced for our children. So this has been talked about a lot. We can all agree. I think family A, the, uh, the family, the Irish family uh, portrayed here uh, really is asinine. It is really inappropriate. It is racist against the Irish. It's just horrible. And then we have family B looking very progressive there as they're eating their pizza, the multicultural family here. So this is the book that's been uh, talked about. And I'll just share with you some uh, news articles that have also been written. So we will go into that now. Here are some news articles uh, as covered by Gripped Media here. So this one came out on the 31st. It just shows there's outrage over the vile portrayal of Irish family in the SPHE school book. And it just uh, goes on to talk about how uh, it really is laughable. It's wildly cliched and it's asinine uh, as to almost be beyond offensive, which I would agree with there. Uh, and then we have on the September 3rd, uh, this is interesting here. So this came out that the anti-Irish SPHE chapter in this book was not included in the Irish language version of the book. So perhaps Ann Potts and Nolly Grady and Edco and the Department of Education and the NCCA knew that in an Irish uh, speaking school who have the Irish language ver version, they would absolutely not tolerate this. So I don't think it's a coincidence or a mistake that it was excluded from the Irish language. I think that was a very deliberate, contrived move. And then we have uh, here, publishers of the insulting and insidious SPHE lesson apologize. So they've apologized uh, for this and politicians across the political Spectrum had called for it to be withdrawn. So that's good news. Let's see what mainstream is talking about here. We have news talk. Uh, Irish families' insular and bigot bigoted portrayal in SPHE book is branded insidious. Yes, we would agree with that. So news talk did a, did a show on that. Uh, and then we also have uh, here another one from news talk. So offensive, it's unreal. Outrage over anti-Irish SPHE school book. So one might think, well done, News Talk, on covering this. But let's look at what News Talk covered on the other books uh, that were raised uh, to them that they have uh, assiduously ignored because they are so horrific. So why are they changing their tune now and jumping on this one? Let's look at what they said previously. So when we protested some of the highly sexual and indoctrinating books that were in the curriculum and in the libraries, Look at how News Talk reacted to this. Uh, there is a library books protest, book burning and banning. And they went on to slander some of our library book campaigns there. Oh, we have here another one from News Talk. We have anti-LGBTQ protesters gather as Cork Library staff demand protection. So all one-sided Oh, we have protesters from News Talk here forced a library to close. They said there's nothing peaceful and on and on and on and on. So uh, News Talk is not our friend here. So yes, News Talk is jumping on the bandwagon here when it's an anti-Irish book, but they've completely, along with RTE, Irish Independent, uh, The Times, 
uh, every other uh, government uh, cheerleader of a media outlet uh, spouting propaganda about those of us who are concerned about the books uh, have slandered us all in the past for the content, but they're jumping on now to talk about this. So um, let's look at the book as well. This is uh, just the brief here, The Health and Wellbeing SPHE 1, Ann Potts, Noligo Grady. And this was their brief on the book. And it just talks about who's behind it. Always good to put names here. Uh, so Edco is a member of the Smurfit Kappa Group. No doubt about it. Global Globalists are involved there. Published in 2017. Uh, and there's the address there. 63 Patrick Street, Dunleary, Dublin. It just talks about uh, who's been involved. So the editor for this, this is another name. Aoife Barrett. So Aoife Barrett, who edited this book, and Sally Vince, who proofread it, also thought, along with uh, Edco and Ann Potts and Noligo Grady and the NCCA and the Department of Education, they all thought that this was all appropriate content. And let's not forget that this book was the one that also included the genderbred person teaching children they can be a boy, girl, neither, or both. So it's great. The positives, mainstream legacy media that uh, is often the, the go-to for Middle Ireland. They are covering this book. The positives are that maybe more parents now will actually open up the pages of their children's books. Let's not forget, though, the books are free. So many of these books, particularly the SPHE ones, will stay locked away at school. Let's also not forget that mobile phones are banned, so there'll be no pictures or recording of these conversations that are taking place. And please go to our YouTube channel. You can get there by going to naturalwomenscouncil.ie. Go to our YouTube channel. And a couple of nights ago, I uh, showed you the evidence where children are being asked to keep secrets from mommy and daddy through class contracts and ground rules. And you will see the NCCA guidance in that uh, expose. You will also see the complaint letter to IJA. Uh, so please let's not get uh, complacent. Let's not be complicit. Let's not think this is a huge win that this book is out there. It's only the start. There is uh, content in the books that are far worse than this, far more harmful to children. They do violate the Children First Act of 2015. So whilst Norma Foley this week can keep on about the abuse that happened in the 70s, uh, let's look at the current abuse that's happening, uh, the state-sponsored child abuse in our school system. So we won't stop, we won't be silenced, but we need a lot of angry parents to take action, and we need a lot of teachers to say, no, we're not teaching this. Please also go to our Twitter account, Natural Women's IE, where you'll see a pinned post for the story time for the Irish mommy and the videos uploaded. It's a 10 part series. They're two minutes each. And these are uh, mommies and grandmothers across Ireland reading from the library books and the school books, 10 part series, only two minutes each. Your jaw may be on the floor. So share that with everyone you know as well. We are going to keep exposing this. That's why we're shadow banned. So please share this far and wide. Thank you.